Hey YouTube, welcome back. Uh, on my, maybe not the last video, but in the last couple of videos, I did a video welding this double-sided hook. Uh, a lot of people don't like it. I did mention, don't do this at home because it's not safe. No, this is not recommended for you to do at home because it's dangerous. Uh, you saw in that video, I broke a previous hook. That previous hook was a quarter inch uh, hook. I don't know what it's rated to. I will look it up and post that right here. Uh, this hook is a 3 8. It's, well, it's rated to 6,200 pounds. I jokingly said 13,200 pounds when you double them up. And uh, people didn't like that joke either. But at any rate, they're rated to 6,200 pounds. I welded them. A lot of comments said that I ruined them. Um, a couple comments said that I, I cooked them so that they're not rated anymore. And I 100% agree that they're not rated, but I'm so curious as to how much I affected them that I went and spent my own money and I bought this 6,000 pound crane scale. Uh, the hooks are rated to 6,200 pounds. This chain, I don't have 3 8 chain, all the chain I have is 5 16 It's rated to not 6,000 pounds. Um, it's rated to this number right here. Um, it is G70 chain, but it's not 3 8 so it's going to be less. I, I know the 3 8 G70 is 6,600 pounds. This 5 16 is going to be less. So I just want to see um, a couple things. First off, this scale right here, I tested its accuracy at home. I could, I could lift 100 pounds with it, it read 100 pounds, and then I lift on the gantry crane outside right here in this video. Right here I have a plate of steel. It's 3 eighths of an inch thick. It is 57 and 3 quarters this way and 97 on the dot that way. And it's 3 eighths of an inch thick. So my calculation says that should be like right around 598 pounds. Um, plus we have the weight of the chain, the shackle, the hook, and then that little tab that I welded on. That tab's probably even two pounds. So, to test the accuracy of the scale, let's see what this plate weighs. I'm expecting right around 605 pounds. So the plate's bouncing all around, off the ground. You can see there, 604. So that is really close. The plate by itself without the chain and everything should be like 598. And that plate should weigh right under 600 pounds with all the chain and the uh, hook that I welded to it. It's just over 600 pounds. The scale reads that. Math says that's what it should be. So I'm going to crank on this. This is a 12-ton hydraulic bottle jack from Harbor Freight out of their pipe bender kit. Um, so it should be able to put out more force than the chain or the hooks can handle. Couple of my limitations, I will not push the scale to the point of breaking it, and I won't bend my table past what I think I want my table at, because I don't want to make it worse. Um, this tabletop does need to bend down right in this area, about 3 16 of an inch. When I broke that last hook in a video that you will see eventually, I was bending it past that 3 16 trying to get it to flex past and see if it would spring back to flat um, when that hook broke. No, I don't intend to load this hook all the time, but now I got all these comments. I'm super curious about it. So I'm going to uh, get everything all set up, crank on this, have that crane turned on, and we'll see if this hook breaks prematurely. Maybe it'll break at a thousand pounds. Uh, I did mention several times in the comments, I occasionally use that old hook to load my welder into the truck. Um, I did get comments about that not safe, about using different lengths of chain. Yes, I have tons of chain. This is about 400 pounds of chain right there. I just don't like sorting through it. I keep this hook hanging on my gantry basically 99.9% .9 of its life. Most of its life, it's just holding the chain out of the way so I can back my truck under it. Um, but yes, I have lifted, not with this hook, but with the old hook that broke, I have lifted my welder. I always say it's 500 pounds, but I'm going to look that up and post from its manual how much it weighs over here. 
But uh, I'm gonna wear a face shield. I don't want to get hit in the face. That last hook when it broke, shot around. Um, this is quite a bit beefier than the old hook though. So I don't, I don't expect that it's gonna break. I actually expect that this hook over here, this large eyelet hook, will break first. But maybe neither of them will break. So I'm gonna turn the scale on. And let's get Jack lacking. So it tells you the model number, the battery level, and right now zero LBs. There's two pounds. Four. Ninety. Five hundred pounds. 100. Table's moving. There's a thousand pounds. Straight edge sign. Straight edge still teeter totters. 1600 pounds. The table's creaking a little bit. 1775. There's 2000 pounds. 2100. Straight edge is. Not teeter tottering lengthwise, but still teeter totters width wise. Table's creaking some more. 2,700 pounds. I still have a sixteenth of an inch or so of bows right in the center. 2,900. There's 3,000. There's 3,500 almost. Okay, 3,512 pounds, and I don't see anything other than the table moving. The table still has a slight bow. Okay, 4,500 pounds. That hook is still intact. I predict that hook right there goes first, or the chain. My bottle jack is leaning to one side. I might relieve the pressure and adjust it a little bit. Okay, we're back to 4,600 pounds. I adjusted the jack because it was a little crooked for my liking. Not that I love any of this, but shoot for 5,000 now. The jack's bleeding off. Okay, there's 5,110. Apparently my seals on the jack are not great because it's bleeding down. 5,000 pounds. I am no longer got a hump side to side. Go 5,500. 5524, everything's still intact. I'm sure I'm right at the limit of this chain. Let's see if we can get 57, 5750. Sounding crappy, I don't like it. It's nervous. Okay, 5750. I'm starting to get a gap between the straight edge <coughs> and the table in the middle. <coughs> so I've completely overcome the hump. Let's go 6000. Okay, there's 6,000. I'm 150 pounds, 6,050, bleeding down quickly. I'm 150 pounds shy of the rating of that hook. So I'm gonna go to the rating, 6,200. 6,250. It is not broke. Doesn't look like it's about to break. My table is as flat as I want it to get to. I don't know that it'll stay there. I don't dare go further than that. Oh, that, this hook right here is opening, right there. So that's as far as I'm willing to go. But probably the footage on this camera can see that chain open. That didn't move at all as much as I screwed it up and ruined it. I really wasn't sure. I thought it might break at a thousand. I now know that it can hold the 6,200 pounds, but because there's two of them, it's 13,400. So, anyways, I'm going to let this down before I take my hood off. Thanks for watching. I did pay for this out of my own pocket and it made my wife mad, so you guys better subscribe.